Hello Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to Tarot Solar Sun Studio. I'm Caro. Uh, I'm going to perform a reading. Uh, it has a, also this timeless uh, energy of it. Uh, so anytime you watch it, uh, it can be uh, applicable. Uh, of course, these are general readings. It is not going to resonate or actualize for everyone watching. Uh, as they are not a t a personal tarot reading to you. Uh, but uh, I recommend for you to also check your moon and rising signs or Venus signs if uh, this is also working with you, uh, working for you. Uh, I'm going to now begin this reading. Uh, so our question is, who is destined to be on your path? Uh, first, I'm going to begin with you because one this who person comes, uh, they will uh, find you in a state, right? Uh, in an existence. So first, let's see you uh, when they come, how you will be found. Uh, what is your actually uh, situation when they uh, come and see and, and find you? Oops, not yet. Or appearing in your path. So I am using the Alice in Wonderland, finally, this deck. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's find out now what is your state when they come across your path. Oh, okay. So we have two cards together. Um... Mm. Lovers, King of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. Mm. Okay. Uh, now, when this person uh, appears on your path, Scorpio, you are about to make some uh, important choices, especially financial choices, value choices. Uh, there is something you want to transform, like convert, um, making something available to you to work in a different way. Like you are uh, trying to focus on this transitional time. Uh, I also feel when this person appears on your path, uh, you may be engaged actually with another person, but the problem is uh, their maybe mother or um, a female person they are close. Uh, well, it's uh, they seem to be like a bit hostile to you, and that's why maybe you are uh, not doing well in that connection. So you are about to choose something like what you're gonna do uh are you gonna continue with this person or uh what what choices you will be making you are a bit uh, in between uh here uh, some paths as well but you have a aim you have a purpose you want to make something work in your life uh, it's like trying to find it's a true essence. Uh, you try to make it shine. You try to like polish something there. Plus here, uh, again, when this person appears, uh, maybe there is something with a past relationship also. That you are definitely uh, trying to deal some stuff there. And at the same time, trying to maintain your life. Now, uh, so this person, I feel like, I mean, they have something really to offer here. Uh, because now we, our question is who is destined to be in your path? And we use the word destiny here as uh, to describe Dharma, which means Dharma actually is like your potential and the set of actions you will choose in order to fulfill that potential. So that person 
e, will accompany you somewhere there, okay? E, again, this is going to be a person who will be on your path. It is they are not a person that you will be ending up. You will be ending up because uh, otherwise we would ask the question in that way. But the idea here is that this person uh, will serve to that path, and somehow you will also serve theirs. So they are coming actually in a critical time. Okay. Um, now this person. Um, what we can say about them, first of all, uh, they are, they, there is a here, a cycle is finishing for them and they are actually coming from a point of, um, they have created, created something outside of themselves and they have released like what no longer serves them. And they actually trust that something is better uh, on their way to them. So they are actually engaging with you from that sense of, uh, let's say, um, consciousness. Um, in this case, uh, by the way, they may, uh, now they have this Leo Gemini quality. This person has a Leo Gemini quality. Let me see some other cards. I also hear... Uh, mm, okay, we have the first house energy. Okay, now this person has a way of projecting themselves. And um, they are really... Uh, they have a, um, th their character, personality. Uh, mm, by the way, this is either a very handsome or a beautiful person. Just telling you. <laughs> they, um, I'm trying to say they are very attractive. Okay, they are very attractive. Very attractive. So you will definitely notice them. You will definitely notice them. Um, they have really carved out like another person from themselves. And that was really um, maybe a hard time for them. But they will exactly know really uh, what they want. And plus they have really a good understanding and consciousness when it comes to their own psyche. Um, they are not a um, how how to say. I mean, they are not a definitely a random person. Okay, they are not a, a random person. Uh, but the moment they catch you, you are really about to make a, a life changing decision here. You are in that uh, transitional. Uh, face. Uh, to be honest, you are searching for something that can really bless your heart, and you can also bless them with 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 your heart with some divine grace. Let's say. Um, I also feel. Like in your previous relationships, there was some imbalance maybe with regards to the masculine and the feminine energies uh, in a relationship dynamic. Uh, you seem to be like doing everything here in, in the previous one. Here you are coming from a point that uh, you really need to make make a major life decision here if you want to continue because they uh, meet you in the halfway and it's like you will actually choose like to be with them or not you know there is an element of choice there with the lovers and you know that this is going to uh, bring some significant significant consequences um but 
uh, with the King of Pentacles energy. Now this energy know how uh, the wheels on Earth are turning. Uh, something in the earthly energy needs to also uh, serve to their highest purpose. So here you are um, also try to make decisions with P uh, and maybe here this per with, the, with this person involving. Um, there is the sense of uh, you want to like make your relationships to work in a way which can also produce and bring material abundance and security here. Uh, like as you have a good understanding of the feminine and masculine, um, it's like you really need to be in each other's uh, energy there. You are really making some careful considerations here. You are weighing your options when they come uh, and you try to find what is going to be aligning with your highest purpose there. Uh, there is definitely, you are, try to aim here uh, a material growth, success, um, stability in life. Um, you just want to, how to say, yeah, like a wise choice. Yes, you, you want to make a wise choice. You don't want to make a random choice there. You don't want to... Uh, actually, you are even uh, approaching them um, with a sense of, I think, skepticism. Uh, but that's because you are a little bit in limbo. And you really try to discover here what you want. You really try to discover what you want. And uh, you want something like to fit perfect in your life. If something is, is really go, uh, worth, to, um, worth to go after. So, um, you are not just right away uh, jumping there. Now, this person, uh, there, there is a very distinct um, physical appearance uh, with them. So, uh, definitely. Um, So their self-expression, appearance, really overall behavior, uh, it's going to be very ap appealing for you in general. But even uh, your limbo and this uh, decision or in what way you want to um, lead yourself is very important. Uh, and um, even those uh, self-expression, ap appearance or overall behavior, you know, you just don't jump right, right, uh, right away there. Uh, they have a very appealing and pleasant per, uh, persona. They really attract, uh, draw people actually very uh, naturally to them. Okay. Uh, they, they have a special appearance, by the way. There can be some things about their teeth and bone structure. And uh, whatever the case starts, uh, they will try to, uh, whatever your decision will be, they will try to prioritize harmony and uh, diplomacy in the communication. They are not going to go to extremes there. So they have this peaceful and definitely gentle nature. Uh, actually, they are prone to establish this harmonious relationship due to that Venus element. Uh, but here, your circumstance is not letting them to like easily, you know, uh, get in. Uh, they will have a strong. Um, Attraction towards art, beauty, aesthetics. Um, they have also uh, they have also uh, 
not as much. Mm, I mean, their goals can be different than you. They can have this uh, more natural tendency towards maybe creative goals. Uh, they may love, by the way, luxury, as uh, you know, lifestyle. Um, yeah, some uh, you're gonna definitely uh, realize that uh, qualities in this person. But this person has really worked so much. Uh, some energy were uh, heavy for them. Actually, they they can yes, they are maybe changing and carving up themselves uh, with some major life changes. But actually, this person does not like to be like you know like easy on me kind of energy uh, they have. So. They may not like to be teased. So, um, if you uh, if you want them, so uh, you need to figure out their communication language. Okay, now, uh, okay. So this is how they gonna find you, and this is what they are at the moment they find you. Then, uh, what is this evolving into? Okay, so let's see what is this evolving to. Judgment, again. Another decision card. Ace of Pentacles, there you go. Second Ace of Pentacles in your reading. And the Seven of Pentacles, another Pentacle energy. You see uh, how uh, down to earth, how everything feels like uh, down, down to earth. So, Okay, now, how it goes then? I think um, there is some major event that you will be really uh, judging this person. Like, you finally know you have to make a decision. And uh, if you want to, if you want really uh, them on, on your path fully. But they are there. They are like God sent to you. The rest is like your actions. So uh, there is a deep evaluation. You are actually, uh, have to say, you or them, maybe at least one of you want to take responsibility for something, thinking that this is going to be like a uh, intention statement for the relationship. Uh, People knowing that once they begin this relationship, it may feel like embarking on a spiritual journey uh, or it can be definitely a new phase of life for them. Um, the connection may bring some new financial opportunities, investments, um, beginning something with the courier um there is actually uh you know a, a lot uh, to um to work on that there is a shift uh, this connection creates i mean the connection can make people to contemplate a new job investment opportunity um there is this feeling of being guided by some invisible hand and um, and it's like you step into something you get results by the way after this you get into that and you get some results and you are uh, now thinking if we got to reap the rewards or uh, how we can um move forward now uh, because there is a time you will be assessing hmm very slow you are you are going very, very slow like you are really um, evaluating this person 
like one step at a time one step at a time like judgment seven of pentacles at some point you will reach a turning point okay you will reach a turning point so you look back and reevaluate. maybe it's going to be some kind of a retrograde energy uh, you're gonna make some reassessment with them because there is going to be like a shift now um, like some fresh approach needed for your relationship you try to find out that you really are ev evaluating assessing things there what you can change for the better kind of thing it is definitely not a stable uh, connection this is like a very ever evolving connection what uh, this connection brings in terms of power of love friendliness you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections hmm friendliness maybe this is what is going to connect you or it may start as a friend there first hmm first friendliness so this is a uh, this is going to create a value is there any uh, soul lesson there is there any soul lesson okay let me see if there is something challenging for both of you peace i am a being of love and i release all negative energy friendliness and peace this is for the venusian quality i think mm. okay so now uh, Scorpio actually you you are a sign who works with cows and the chaotic because this is actually how Scorpios in that constant uh, right uh, metaphorical death and re rebirth uh, function um, and then uh, this metaphor of rising from one's ashes uh, now uh, the thing is that actually in this connection you don't have to feel like you are in a battlefield things can come easier um, but the thing is that in the beginning you are looking for that uh, okay is there a chaos for me here to so i can solve out you will be automatically drawn to that because it's a natural scorpio setting to grow through crisis you are not a taurus right uh, you are not a Venusian sign, you are a Margian sign and also uh, Pluto. So that's why uh, the thing is that they are going to serve for a time that uh, you, you know, sometimes we are given really that uh, peaceful times so that we can really work out things. Uh, it can be like a you know, a time where no extra overwhelming activity happening, but uh, it's that uh, stability we give so that it can grow, right? So this person, I think, will serve uh, to that time. And of course, you will serve to theirs, but we need to also make another reading for them, <laughs> for them too. But we, are, uh, we have you here, so we don't uh, have them. Okay, now from the uh, Art of Life Tarot that I am uh, first time uh, using, uh, very happy. We have the Knight of Swords. It has been depicted as the Don Quixote. Uh, and uh, this painting is now in Munich, Germany, in the Noah Pinakothek. Uh, and you see the uh, painter here can read the name. To dare is to lose one's footing momentarily. Not to dare is to lose oneself. We have the Soran Kierkegaard's uh, here uh, quote. Uh, I like Kierkegaard, by the way, this guy. He, unfortunately, he, uh, I don't know if you ever uh, read his life, but 
He's like uh, a child of a seven, ch uh, eight children family and um, he has a lot of life struggle. Actually, he, I think, loses a, a lot of siblings uh, passing away and there's always a, he's, uh, his health is always like somehow uh, a bit challenging for him. But he has uh, that potential to uh, create that uh, great uh, philosophies in the continental philosophy, I think, uh, field. Um, so this guy says, so this is a struggle guy. Actually, Soran Kierkegaard, let me check uh, his, just a sec. Why don't we look at uh, the natal chart of him? Okay, let's let me check the uh, Kierkegaard's chart. So, mm, so uh, he's he's uh, Taurus Sun, Cancer Moon, uh, Taurus Sun, Cancer Moon. Mm, we don't have the rising sign, but let me check the Saturn. Saturn in Capricorn, node in Leo. Mm. Moon Cancer, Mercury Aries, Venus Taurus, Mars Capricorn, Jupiter Leo. Uh, this actually, uh, hmm. it is uh, with this quote actually, he seems to be finding his North Node Leo with that uh, daring to be daring energy and that. Uh, it's it's a bit uh, you know heroic energy with the Leo uh, archetype there, so uh, there is something there definitely he uh, achieves with the Dharma. Uh, his south is uh, note is Aquarius, so uh, he's actually coming from collective influence, uh, but uh, also creating outstanding philosophy uh, with that memory, with that. Um, setting that he brings from his south node Aquarius collective uh, understanding of uh, his time environment uh, and that's side guys his side guys um, so this daring thing he has also Jupiter in Leo so yes this this works Jupiter is also the philosophy <laughs> planet so yes um, now to dare is to lose one's footing momentarily not to dare is to lose oneself your person has also Leo energy here okay so by the way I forget to tell uh, did I tell <laughs> Leo Gemini they, they carry Leo Gemini energy so hmm the daring part is uh, a bit uh, in them I think Hmm. So uh, they may want to do things maybe in the relationship in the kind and softest way, let's say, in the Venusian quality. But actually, there is something they may be also like uh, to dare to stand for. This can be Knight of Swords and Gemini card, by the way. Knight of Swords is the Gemini energy with also speech. And uh, so this... It, it would be nice if you encourage uh, them in that way. So th maybe, maybe with with that attitude, they are gonna contribute something on your path. Um, to dare is to lose one's footing momentarily. Not to dare is to lose oneself. Not to lose oneself. Not to dare is to lose oneself at, at some point you need to <clears throat> uh, say saying that with the knight of swords energy uh, like that uh, bold 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 in expression so there is something that 
um, you will hear maybe from this person um, like this ability to move in a very incisive way and like they are like meant to bring clarity to uh, a confusion and they may be also defending something in a very br brilliant way and the knight of swords is a uh, energy in which this energy helps us with the words and their uh, amazing capacity so this is something uh, uh, it's also coming to this path this is uh, the ability to stand up for oneself so you will you will like this energy scorpio there you're gonna say oh my my partner in crime you know so uh yeah from that maybe essence they can also align with yours um and you can take that forward from the seven of pentacles hmm yes now this this makes sense uh what else can we say for this reading mm, 30 30 almost 32 minutes we are coming uh, so yeah this is pretty much this is pretty much the person i think uh, it's a good brief one uh, i like the i like the spread i like actually how cards also working with each other there are a couple of decks i'm first time using and i like their uh, this mingling energy the decks mingling each other <laughs> I leave them on the table first, you know, like 15 minutes meditation, like, okay, you guys mingle, okay? <laughs> so it seems they mingled good. Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning in. Just one uh, thing, I'm uh, trying to look for a name for this new mascot uh, of the channel. Uh, this new friend will be always on our table, that's why. Uh, it needs a name so I'm looking a name for uh, the new friend check my latest video here and uh, I will be very uh, happy if you uh, help me to find a name for uh, for this new friend you can uh, leave uh, your recommendations of name uh, in that video's comment section uh, and we will choose one um, and uh, yeah thank you so much uh, Scorpio, take good care. Bye-bye.